Hi, and welcome to another edition of Learning How to Digitize uh, by OML Embroidery, and of course sponsored by OMLpatches.com. Sorry I haven't been making any videos for a few days. I guess it's been a couple weeks. Super busy, um, and I just try to do them when I can. So today, to make up for everything, we're not going to, you know, go through Embird and, uh, you know, learn the tools. We're going to learn them as we go along. Um, we're going to do something really cool. Actually, it's a really neat way of designing stuff. Um, and I call them snowflakes, name snowflakes. Some people think they're flowers. I'm not really sure what you think, but we're going to learn how to do it. And it's actually really cool. So first of all, we're going to start with a simple line of text. And I think it works best with a little bit of a scripty kind of font. But you can try different fonts once you see what I'm doing. You can try different fonts and see what you think of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the alphabet 5. And I'm going to type, what can I type? OM, OML embroidery. And that looks good. We're going to generate it. And what I'm going to do is just shorten it up a little bit. You can play around with all these different settings, and I think you'll find it'll look good. So what do we do with that? We, awesome, we got lettering. We're going to go to Transform, and we're going to go to the Transformation Windows. I'll move it over here so we can see it a bit better. And what we're going to do, I don't know if you've noticed, but in here, there's a little cross. It's kind of hard to see. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit and so you can see it better. Now that is the pivot point for any um, transformation rotation that you're doing. It automatically goes in the middle, but if you click and hold the left mouse button and catch it, I missed it there. See, now you can see it better. You can move it around. So for this design, I want it to be about here. So still in the middle, and a little bit offset. Um, again, play around with the settings. Every time you do this, I guarantee you it'll be different. Now we want the angle. I find that 30 works really well. So then all we have to do is apply to duplicate and keep going around. Isn't that cool? Then click apply. Whoops, I missed one. Oh well. We'll just go around again, just because I want the final OML in there. There we go. So then we just close. Now I know I've got duplicates of everything, but that's fine. So to me, that looks like a snowflake. So that's just one that's longer words. And of course, you can make it bigger or smaller. It's kind of neat. That's probably too small, but we're just going to store that up here. And I forgot an E. Oh well. We know it's we know it's good, right? This is just how my day's going, but there we go. So even if you're looking at that, uh, it's really neat. It looks really pretty. Um, the really cool thing about it, if you can do it on um, baby's clothes, you could do it on towels, you can do it on bags. Most people don't realize that it's a word in there. And once you tell them, they go, wow, really? Yes, really. So let's do my husband's name, three letters, and generate. And then we're going to transform, transformation window. And don't forget to move the pivot point, center and out a little bit. We'll do this one a little bit closer and then you can see what effect it has. And again, I like doing the 30 degrees seems to work. And then you just work your way around the circle. Now you see with the pivot point, see the D's are more overlapping and it still looks really cool. Close. There we go. What do you think? Let's um, generate all these stitches. And most people, how about we change the color too? Hmm. Don's not a pink person. How about we do a blue? There we go. See how pretty that looks? I think it's really cool. We're going to group it just so I can keep everything together. So we're going to put that one here. So let's try it with just a regular font and you can see the difference. Um, and then we'll try, we'll try picking a true type font. We could do something like this one. 
So that was a, um, not Tajima, Embird font. So let's do my name. Generate the stitches. And then we're going to go to transform. Transformation window. And don't forget to move this. Now I'm going to move it a little bit further away this time. And let's do 30 again. And let's go around the circle. And I'll move this in a minute so you can see it. It actually makes a really good design. Look at that. So now that we have a more simplified font, you can see how it looks. Let's oh, see, I missed one. Let's group it and let's do, let's do just a bright pink just for the heck of it. That does not look good. Well, I missed the end. I missed it at the end, but that's okay. We can just go back and fix it. And I can see here that I have missed uh, a joining, a connector, um, which if you were stitching that out and you missed that, that's why it's always good to check this out here. If you miss that, then it would stop and ask you to change colors just for probably three stitches. Not good. So always keep an eye on it. Good lesson. How about we generate stitches? See, I think that looks pretty good. And let's group everything because I didn't do it right the first time. There we go. Now we do have a jump sti stitch across, but that's because it moved out of the way, but that's okay. We can fix that. Now, doesn't that look cool? Now, some people think they look like flowers. So this is really cute on, for example, um, a baby's little outfit. You could do, now it's pretty small, so we're gonna do pull out a circle. And I didn't want it to be perfect, generate. Why don't we do that part, uh, what color? How about nice bright yellow? Because we're thinking it's for a baby outfit, right? Isn't that cool? Let's move it so it's at least in the center. That almost looks like a sunshine as well. But you can just quickly do it up. And how about we take our fill tool and why don't we do something like this? And then I'm going to bend it and then reactivate that one click back we're going to bend it again and i'm going to stretch that right up so it matches and fix it up a little bit i guess it would be just fine like that and we'll put another anchor point in there and we'll generate it just even basic shapes work now what i need to do my list is way too long so I know they are separate things, but I'm going to group all these blue guys together so my list isn't so long so I can see what I'm working presently on there. See, that's much better. And why don't we make that a green? That's probably not a very nice stem, is it? But eh, it'll do. It'll do for today. I'm going to move it up. And then we can do, um, how about we do a little leaf right at the bottom. And you can make these fancy. You can make them more complicated. Another great idea is you could get one of your children to draw, you know, just a little flower and do the stem. And you can scan it. And then you can make that into embroidery, uh, which is really cool. What do you think? Looks like a flower. I think that's really cute. And you can put your kid's name in there. We could make this leaf a little better. Why don't we um, put a little bit of uh, carving into it? We could. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. Just have it one down here. You know, it looks like a kid's drawing, but it's actually meant to look like a kid's drawing. So let's go to 3D. See how cute that is? except for the line going across and I before I grouped it I would have gone back and I would have put that in the right position so there isn't a, a jump space like that so you can get really fancy you can try different fonts I prefer the writing the script fonts 
but I also think this looks really good. Why don't we try it now? Let's uh, go to a new design. Let's try it now. No, I don't want to save you. Let's try it with a true type font. And remember, you always have to be careful with true type fonts because they don't always work out. Um, they don't always stitch out. So get to know, try different ones. Why don't we try this one? And what name we could do, the puppy's name. Gallifrey. Generate, we'll see how this looks. Yeah, I think that'll look fine. Let's go into, just to do something different, parameters. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. I want to edit text, my bad. And we're gonna go into these parameters. Nope, not what I wanted to do. All right, anyways, let's generate it. Generate, I always have to click twice for some reason. So I like the G, I think that's gonna work very nicely. Transform, transformation window. And first thing we do is move the little pivot. So, and because the G is so fancy, I'm gonna move it out to about here, still the center because I like how that looks. Let's try that and see. And I think I'm going to do it a bit wider, so maybe 40, because what I'm thinking, this hangs down lower, and so does the Y. So I'm thinking it'll look better. See, I probably did it too far. However, I really like it. They don't have to be joining. See, isn't that cute? Gallifrey. And I like that, and I like the green even. So the true type fonts will work. Why don't we try that? Not save. Let's try that same font and let's do it with our previous settings. Uh, settings. So just so you can see how different it looks. So again, every time you do this, it's going to be different. And that's kind of the fun of it. Transformation window, your little crosshair shows up and grab it and I'll do it a little bit closer this time because I think I might have been too far away. It still looked good though and let's try this so they do overlap a bit and we'll see if it's too much or not. Uh, I made it just right on the F's and the G's on the Gallifrey's overlapping. So see with just a few clicks you can make it completely different every time you do it. So let's generate the stitches. It's going to take a minute because there's a lot of stitches. And let's look at it at 3D. See, isn't that pretty? Another thing you could do to add some, I guess if you had a name like Dawn with three letters, you could put an outline on the lettering. I, I think that would actually be pretty cool. It would be a fair amount of stitching and you're going to have to group everything properly. Um, another thing you can do is join this middle part into one section. So it'll do this and then it'll do the alifrey, alifrey, alifrey. I don't think it matters. It kind of looks neat with it layered. I kind of like it. So you see this one's underneath and that one's over and that one's over. And I think it adds to the effect. But it's just another thing you can try. Um, and put this on shirts. I've put them on backpacks before. I've put them on jean pockets. I've also put them on, instead of doing a traditional monogram for a towel, I've done these. Um, they're also great for Christmas stockings. So you can take, um, and actually for any holiday, you can take um, Christmas words. Well, I am always seem to be forgetting one today. Just that one little one left behind. There we go. So why don't we, we'll go back to uh, an M-Bird font because I really like the one we had. I think it's, what did I say, number five? Yeah, I really like that one. So you could do Noel or I think the N would look good. Or you could do Christmas or you could do a design where you put joy and then, or you could put Mary and then Christmas all in snowflakes. But let's try Christmas. It's a bit longer of a word. Generate. 
and I like the green it's a Christmassy green so that's that's gonna work for me now I'm not gonna make this lettering any smaller when I did all mail embroidery I squished it in this one I'm gonna leave out actually why don't we even try making it a smidgen longer stretch the lettering just a little bit and we can see how that looks generate so you can really play around with these you have to select it transform transformation window and then our little pivot point comes up so the C is kind of cool so I'm gonna guess about there and again I'll stick with 30 uh, it's so easy to do you can try different settings on it see that could be a little closer um, I would almost like it why don't we try it squishing it up so design new so let's do the word again, just quickly. So we'll do Christmas and we'll pick alphabet five. I could spend all day playing around with this. I'll try not to take too long, but it's kind of fun. You can see it's kind of fun. And every time you try it, it's something different and you can get different looks and it can look like different things. I, I find it quite enjoyable. Oh, what's the first thing we do? We move our pivot point. And let's, I'm going to show you if you move it down, what it's going to do. We'll move it down quite a bit. Um, and I said, I thought 30 was too much. So why don't we try 25? Because it's a longer word and we want it to fill in a bit more. So let's see how that looks. Now you see, that works perfectly. And that gives it a really cool design in the middle because it's it's a bit squishier than the other ones but if you stand back and look at that i think that kind of looks like a snowflake generate it it'll take a minute because there's a lot going on how fantastic is that i wouldn't make that a whole lot smaller but you can a little bit so you could put that on a sweatshirt so this is what i'm thinking you do one that says christmas and then, uh, and I've done this before and everybody absolutely loved it. Mary. Generate. And we'll do this one in, we'll group it because I'm running out of space there. How about we do it in red? Or you could do it in white, I guess it would be the same. Transform. Bring to center. Bring to center. Oh no. If you can't tell, it's been a long day. Transform, transformation window. There, I got it. Okay, so first thing we do is, and I really can't see it. What happened there? All right, worst case scenario, let's try it again. Transform, transformation window. There, we got it. Sometimes if it doesn't work, just do it again and it will because we have to move that pivot point and I think the M is going to look good about there and we'll flip to our 30 and flip it around yep the M just falls in quite nicely I like it so there you go you have two and you can put this design together or you could do you know bathroom towels and one says Mary and one says Christmas and they're different sizes because the words are longer, but let's put them close up. And people, like I said, when they look at it, they won't realize that it's writing. Um, I think that one with the M, I think that one looks really cool. Anyways, that's it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have fun with it. Like I said, I could sit and play with this forever. Try different fonts, try different spacing. Um, I could have made the Mary a little bit separate, a little further apart, just like I made the Christmas a little bit closer and I like it better. It's all personal. And uh, people will just wonder how you did this because it, it's so personal and it's so amazing and it looks fantastic. Anyways, thank you for watching. Join us again and uh, hopefully we'll have another tutorial coming up soon. Thank you.